This is Kevin Brooks, University of Illinois Extension, Agriculture Business Management and Marketing with the Landowner Series. Just a quick note about the Landowner Series. These short videos are designed to help landowners understand modern day farming. It may be that you have inherited land and really don't know what's going on in production agriculture. Or maybe you grew up on a farm 50 years ago and it's changed so much um, that uh, you kind of need an update. So that's what we're doing with this series. And today's video, we are taking a look at track tractors. By track tractors, we mean those that have basically wheels or are powered by what looks like tracks that you would see on a bulldozer. They're made out of rubber not out of steel but in today's world the last 20 years we've been seeing more and more of these track tractors there is ongoing discussion in the industry as to which is better track tractors versus the standard tired tractors the benefits of track tractors have to do with compaction and traction although in the end the value of that benefit is maybe not as great as one might think and it does show up better when the fields are more wet than dry farmers using standard tires on their tractors sometimes mitigate uh, the compaction issues by reducing the air pressure in the tires which does mitigate it and evens it out more closely. But studies do show that there are some compaction reductions by using track tractors. The cost for track tractors is higher than the conventional tired tractors. And replacement of the tracks versus tires uh, is also more expensive, although the tracks do last quite a bit longer than standard tires. Listen now, as the farmer that is using the track tractor today as we're planting corn explains why he uses track tractors on his farm. Currently, we are planting corn using a track tractor. As you can see here, off to the side, rather than large tires, it's tracks like a bulldozer, only they're, they're rubber. This particular farm is a very good Class B farm. The soils don't warrant it being called a Class A farm. We've had some really good yields uh, on it over the years. What we're going to talk about a little bit now as to why uh, the farmer went to tracks. Okay, well, there's a lot of things to think about when you're talking about compaction. Um, primarily, uh, you're speaking to the fact that you're reducing the air portion, the air percentage of the makeup of the soil. Basically, you're just squishing the air out of it and replacing it with compacted clay. So, um, there's a couple other components, uh, what you might call compaction and and why you would use tracks instead of tires, and they're awfully simple. One, you think of compaction just by setting your foot down on the ground and uh, seeing the footprint that you have. And uh, you might think of that in another way. Let's say, for instance, you think of your foot as soil, and somebody's going to come along and they're going to step on your foot, and they're going uh, to cause pain. There's no doubt about that. So again, the wider that footprint of the guy that's stepping on your foot, the less pain there's going to be and the less compaction there'll be. But there's also another component to it, and that's the uh, rate of slippage that the tractor's incurring onto the soil. So now think of somebody stepping onto your foot, and now let's enter slippage or uh, lack of traction but, uh, from a tire. And now somebody's going to step on your foot and they're going to twist it. Because when you have slippage, you're now taking that soil and, and squeezing it and, and uh, gripping it away. 
and so it's the same as uh, somebody standing on your foot and twisting on top of that foot. So you can understand there's going to be more pain and going to be more damage. That just magnifies the problem of reducing floor space. So really we're thinking about um, a lot of different things when it comes to tracks. Again, you're looking at the maintaining the quality of the of the soil so that you can uh, uh, ensure a good seed bed to get a proper stand. We're looking at controlling that seed bed and, and uh, not having any compaction, whether it be from a previous tillage tractor or uh, anything like that. Um, you, you don't want to compromise that seed bed. That's the beginning. You don't want to compromise the root zone where that next, uh, where that plant's going to grow and live and thrive. Um, everybody talks about in this day and age, you want a corn plant to come out of, the, out of the ground running, you want it to come out quickly, evenly, and anytime you would interject um, any kind of ep an adversarial situation into that plant, uh, you'll notice, just like the example of somebody stepping on your foot, that plant's going to notice that and it's going to compensate. So, why do we have tracks? It's really basically all about yield. Uh, there's some efficiency to it. Um, if you're not slipping your wheels, uh, typically a track tractor in the field will run about 1 to 3% slippage. And a wheel tractor will typically run from 4 to 7 to 8% slippage. So, from um, the efficiency of fuel used, um, you're going to spend less time slipping on slippage, less time and less fuel 